My name is Michael. My name's Anthony. It's like about a he half an inch longer. We still gotta get those kegs. Come at me, yo, bitch. This damn sick. Good show, everybody. Good evening, or morning, or afternoon, whenever you're listening. Good time to you. My name is Anthony, and you're you are on <laughs> Eminem's excellent adventure. Also, I'm Michael. Uh, Ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna get to that. I was gonna introduce you as my lovely assistant. Oh, for that's today. cool. My bad. Yeah, oh, my that's bad. okay. This is my unlovely interrupting assistant, Michael. What? He's usually he's usually what? the big boss man, but today he's I my am. little assistant. He's my little <laughs> sussy baka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Booba and you're Kiki for sure. <laughs> what, what what are you talking about? Boba Booba Who? Booba Kiki? Boba Kiki? Boba Kiki? Have you not heard of this? No, is it what is this? Um <laughs> it's like a dynamic thing. Uh, it's a it's a what? So cuz there's Sussy Baka. There's an in image where it's like two circles or two blobs or something. One of them is kind of rounded and blobby, yeah. and the other one has more jagged, sharp edges. Mm-hmm. And people say which one is Boba, which one's Kiki. And, yeah. and the blobbier one, everybody says, is Boba or Booba. Mm-hmm. And the sharper one, everybody says, is Kiki. And apparently it's like all cultures no matter the culture language mm-hmm. geographic area like universally everybody agrees that the round one's booba or boba oh. and the sharp one's kiki and so uh, there well, was a headgum segment where i think that that's kind of stereotyping these two blobs <laughs> because why couldn't the big round one be kiki cuz he's not a bitch <laughs> whoa, whoa 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 don't diss my boy boba like that What's it? It's Boba? It's either Boba or Booba. Because if it's Boba, it's because he looks like a Boba. That would make sense because he's round. Uh, maybe it's because Kiki's a little cray cray. That could be. I don't know. I don't know. But, but there, on the HeadGum podcast, Johnny had a, a segment where he would show pictures of dynamic duos or really anybody. And then you'd ask which one's Boba, which one's Kiki. And it was really, it was fantastic. Okay, speaking of other podcasts, I had a really good idea. Well, first off, let's talk about our podcast. For our new listeners here, my name is Anthony. This is Michael. We are co-hosts of m and Excellent Adventures, and we're going to have a great time. I was we just thinking, we just time. postered all over town. So you, for those of us who are just joining, we like to tell stories on this podcast, and we they're do. improvised, and I'm going to show you how that works in a little bit. It's going to be a lot of fun. But we like to sandwich our improv- uh, improvisations a little bit with a fun conversation at the beginning and at the end. So, Yeah, so they're story sandwiches. Story sandwiches. And the because, conversations are the bread. Yeah. And if you go back, which you'll have to eventually, just yes, binge it and catch up. So good. We have we, some pretty good content in we, here. We, we have a whole conversation about what constitutes the sandwich because... We were saying compliment sandwiches, mm-hmm. and I said mm-hmm. no. It's more like an insult sandwich because it's compl- because the compliments are the bread, are the bread, and you don't call every sandwich a bread sandwich. Exactly. So, so I feel like at every fiftieth increment, this is a good time to kind of refresh what we're really all about, which sure. is telling stories and having fun conversations with people. Yeah, we're like cool and approachable, but also bad boys. So like, it's like we're, we're like, Michael Jackson without the 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 bad stuff. Yeah. We're cool and we're bad, but we're not like... We're not like bad. We're not like Mr. (laughs) FBI. Yeah. Yeah, we're not like bad, but we're we're like like bad. We're like lean. You lean in forward and then you come back and then people lose their minds. Yeah. You know how they do that? Do you know how they do that? um, They have... Little things on the bottoms yeah, of their shoes that yeah, hook into the really, floor. It's really, yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Um, um, but I, yeah. When I was younger, I thought that there weren't any smoke and mirrors, and they just taught themselves how to do it, and I would try and do it. I tried to do it, too, for the longest time. Yeah. I had to go on YouTube. I learned how to moonwalk from a really sketchy YouTube video from 2007. Remember early YouTube, man? What a good time. Man. What a we, wild, yeah. unhinged fucking... Have you ever heard of the term YouTube poop? 
Yes. YTP. I've never right. heard that, and now I'm seeing people talk about really. Them. Yeah, that's and like an old. Like, I vaguely I mean, people, remember I think, somebody do, but... saying the term when I was in like high school, but mm. I never really understood what it was. But it's just really stupid YouTube videos. Yeah, but I think I maybe mean, it just got overdone, and now it is just not, YouTube. yeah. Well, now it's just YouTube. Yeah, because all YouTube is just kind of garbage. I remember when ads became a thing on YouTube, and everyone was fucking pissed off that they had to sit through ads now yeah well now everyone just watches youtube instead of tv i watch more youtube that's than your TV fault now. america that's yeah. your fault i watch my tv ass. shows on youtube they're just broken up into sections i watch yeah, yeah i watch more youtube than, yeah, than TV, tv but i don't yeah. have cable yeah you're broke bitch we used to have cable, but we weren't using it, so we just upped our internet and got rid of the cable. That's really smart. Yeah. That's really smart. I should do that, too. <laughs> I was too. like, we were using all these streaming services. What's your internet now? I don't remember. You should tell me because your internet's better than mine. Is it? Yeah. I think... I, I just I got wanna... a new router, though, and it's been working better, though, so I think it's the hardware I, that's giving it a hard I time. Need, I need new hardware, but I think... Um, I think I only talked to Ashley up to 50 megabytes per second download speed. But I, but I want can't more. fathom that being how your internet speed is. Because you do a lot with your internet and it works a lot better than mine. Yeah, I don't know. I just You're uh, just better than I, me, I guess. I just, <laughs> You're just that much better well, than me. No, I just... I, I want more, though. I want, like... I'd say at least 100. Someday, <laughs> dude, a fucking gigabyte. Mm. I pay for 200, dude. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Who do you go through? Midco. Same. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll have to but talk I mean, my about internet, this. Yeah. It's, I feel like you're lying to me. How much is your bill a month? Uh, Like 45 bucks a month. Or Are something? you kidding me? 45 to 50 bucks a month. And uh, It's definitely a hardware <laughs> issue then. Oh, okay. I have smart devices, but not many more than you do. I have smart lights. No, and but our router stuff, is pretty but, dated, so like uh, we need a new router for sure. Well, I don't know. I think I need a new modem because I don't know. Mine's yeah. mine's working. The router is the Wi-Fi thing. That's what makes Wi-Fi. But the mm. modem is what connects to your actual uh, line. Oh, I need it all new then. Yeah. Man. Well, I'm wondering because it works fine in the living room, but in the bedroom it's kind of iffy, and that's where I do my meetings and stuff. So sure. I'm wondering if the walls are too thick. I don't know. I have no clue how internet works. Is and that I... where you jerk off to? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say that. With Shut a... the fuck. Up. <laughs> well, I'm just saying internet porn. Like it sucks if it has to buffer. I get it. No. Cause I, cause I do it in the living room, dude. Oh, that's <laughs> at the cool. kitchen table. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> that's very fucking cool. Cause that's the only, that's where the Wi-Fi works is at the kitchen table. <laughs> Conveniently, that's where the TV is excuse, too. We don't eat dinner anymore. Excuse at me, the honey. Table. I we, need you to step out of the room. Daddy's got to handle himself. <laughs> This is a great way to start. I Good, like the maybe. idea that somebody took the QR code from the school library. Yeah. And this is what they pull up. <laughs> as long as it's just it me looking at you. Policy. Looking at you and earnestly saying, where do you jerk off? <laughs> <laughs> At the kitchen table, it's confirmed. That's fucking rad. I can't wait. 20 years down the road, we're going to be doing talk shows, and they'll be like, so about this uh, clip. And they're going to play back, and I'm going to have to say, well, I was 22. Oh, I'll, I'll be just honored. I'll be like, you went that far back? Like, you really were dedicated if you <laughs> feel like, that. Yeah, and if you go back two episodes, HeadGum backstabbed us, and now we own them. That's right. <laughs> I... Think. They backstabbed us. They said they were going to be on our 50th episode. <laughs> That's right. When they were drunk. <laughs> well, and only one dirt. of them said. <laughs> the other one wasn't even president. <laughs> Anthony, I think... If they're not there, they've kind of agreed to the, to the contract. I think I'm ready to touch my toes and get pegged by... A story. Do you, you have one for me? Michael, <laughs> why do you rush these things? I'm sorry, but I just, it's, I don't know. I, I enjoy the conversation, sandwich? but I'm, <laughs> I was like, I guess it's this is, bready. I guess, I, I guess I'm we're ready a little, we're to, a little uh, to get unbready. Get a little I think, I think we've really, uh, we've really crusted our bread. 
or I guess if this is uncrusted. people's first time, they're gonna think this is like a sex podcast, which is kind of <laughs> cool. No, we unbreaded because or uncrusted because we have thick bread on the top. If we crusted, it'd be thinner. Sure. So it's uncrusted. It's just a sure. little bit thicker than soft usual. bread. I, I'm, I'm eh, well, it's soft on the inside. It's crusty on the outside. Nice. Yeah, because uh, you're off color. Yes. So, Michael, I believe all of our newcomers, all the people watching us, are asking you and me to please tell me a story. Wow. Well, Michael, I think it's time to change your name. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Your name (laughs) is Willard. Willard. Nice. Today is your first day at Willie's Wingnuts Automotive. You have faked your way through automotive school. Nice. Because the pandemic had you be online and you just kind of cheated your way through classes. And you've overstated your qualifications for this position of uh, yes. of, of cashier and, and also assistant. Sounds exactly what i would do exactly so this is like you've done a couple training days but this is like your first day on the job okay okay and it's what willard you're willard and you work at willie's wingnut automotive willie's wingnut (laughs) willie's wingnut automotive i can write that down for if you'd like to oh i I got it i got it okay good 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 you want to do lines out of the hat from last episode (laughs) yeah i'll just try them yeah (laughs) you tell how often i come in here Uh, in that case oh wait wait my name is Millard. Millard. We're the good old WM. That's cool. Or M double D. W D. Where's the Automo Automotive? With there's a D in auto. <laughs> and with that <laughs> wait, 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 but what's your relation to me? Oh, I'm I'm uh I'm your manager. Just my my I'm, manager? I'm, I fucking own the place. No, 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 no. Oh, but you're Will- under me. No, 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 no. You're Willie. You're Willard. You just happen to be. Oh, at Willie. You, at, Willie yeah, that's why. You, that's actually why you applied. Oh, okay. that's some backstory. So I don't I own know. the place. No, no, no. no. Your name yeah, is Willard. Just about lost Your name is my Willard, shit. and you work good. at Willie's Wingnut Automotive. Got so it. these are separate entities here. Okay. And my name is Millard. And you're Millard. I, yeah, we have no relation. It just happens to be a silly coincidence. Here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Cool. So in that case, without further ado. Tell me a story. <laughs> so we set the scene. We see wrenches on the wall. We see car batteries on the other wall. And right in front of us, we have a desk with glass on the front, glass on the top, and has a bunch of used car parts just right there up front. Shit. Uh, M- Millard, Millard, hey, hey, um, uh, I, what is it? I haven't got to restocking the, the battery shipment we just got just yet. Uh, <sighs> I, 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 are you serious? I got busy with a couple things, but uh, what? I'll be honest. What things? It just, uh, a few things here and there. There were some <sighs> carburetors that needed dusting and some, um, Gosh. wrenches that needed to kind of get adjusted. Uh, and I, I mean... Kudos to you for really going above and beyond. Yeah. But that's... what the fuck? I did not ask you to do that. That was no, supposed to I be know. what I was supposed to do to kill time. I was, what what I, am I going to do I now? I was trying to make things easier for you, Millard. Willard, I do appreciate this. I really do. But what the fuck, man? Are you trying to fuck me out of a job? I'm not trying to fuck you, Millard. The, this is your third day, your first day on the job, like, like by yourself. And... You think you could just walk in and take my assistant regional manager position? I'll be taking it somewhere. That's You're going to be, uh, what, what, what's that? One more no, time? I said. Uh, you want to say that to my face? I said, I apologize. I appreciate everything you do. I was just trying to show you that I appreciate your leadership. Willard. Oh, look, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah. But I'm just, fuck off. I'm t- fuck off. <laughs> If you think you can come in and take my assistant regional manager Whoa, job, well, I, ne- I never said that. Okay, okay. I'm not so trying I'm to putting steal words anything. in your mouth. You're, you're you sound like my ex-wife, Melissa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck her. 
What's Melissa's last name? Uh, <laughs> I know a Melissa. Oh, what's I know Mel- a couple Melissas. What's her last name? Um, G- Gave. Gave? No, my mine's Jalissa, but. Melissa Jalissa is her last Melissa name. Melissa Jalissa is her last name, but that's that's a different story. We don't have to go into that right now. Um, that man, that would have been a really cool coincidence, though, considering we have similar names and we knew similar people. That would have been kind of crazy. really kind of yeah, strange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But <clears throat> yep. Anyways, uh, if you could just you know deal with the car batteries over there and just yep. recon- you know totally. rearrange them, that'd be really cool because they're kind of gathering dust and people aren't really buying them. And I, I don't know why. But, you know. I will. That is the first fucking thing. I'm gonna take care of it right now. Sweet, cool. Thanks so much. Yep. All right. So I head on over to the batteries and I'm looking at them. I don't fucking know what any of this means. I'll Bring just throw them on shelves. <clears throat> Hi there. Can I uh, can I help you out? Can I help you? Yeah. Um, Are you drinking? No. Oh. As he's holding a drink. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Um. So, I was looking for uh, looking for some car battery stuff things. Yeah. Looking for uh, a uh, a big one that can go in my my diesel truck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've yeah. got diesel batteries. Um, yeah, some some D batteries. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, listen here, son. Yep. I went to automotive school. I know which battery I need. Oh, yeah. I need same. you to look up on that tiny handheld you got there. Y- yep. Okay. I, I, I've, I, yep, I also went to automotive school. I know which battery you need, too. I don't need you to talk back to me, okay? Oh, Look at that's, me. That's fine. Okay. But, uh, the next thing out of your mouth better be yes, sir, okay? For sure. <laughs> You're testing me, yes. Here, son. Yes, sir. There yes, we, sir. There yes, we sir. go. So... Take that little pocket thing yeah. and look if we have a DW483 triple spatch 4969. That's 69. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. Do you ever 69 before? Uh, oh, only when I'm on the road. You know, my my third that's and fourth cool. my third and fourth wife don't know. But, uh, nice. You know. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <sighs> well, uh, DW4... 8, 6, 9, 4... Shit. 69. Okay. Um, well... No, it's just... it's a. There's, uh, we just changed books, so... Oh, oh, changed books. I'm just getting kind of used to this new... Go look. If you don't know what you're talking about, just no. Tell I know me. what I'm talking. I know what I'm talking about. I know oh, what I'm. All right. Like I know what right. I'm, I wouldn't have been here if uh, they wouldn't have hired me if I didn't know what I was talking about. Just let me find the fucking part, <clears throat> sir. I'm waiting. Look around. Well, you got it or not? Yes. Good. Yep. Good. Uh, it should be that one right here. There you go. Should be good. Uh, yeah, I, look, you, I look at it, and it's it's absolutely not what I ordered. <laughs> huh. This does look about right. Yeah. Yep. That, yep. That's the right one. I'll it's bring very up clear here. he did not go to automotive school either. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Come yeah. No, you know, you're, you, you know what you're talking about, too. Right. You know when you see it. Yep. We'll uh, get you All checked right. out here. So he, he walks on. He, he leaves. <laughs> Bing, bong. Oh, okay. And Millard comes by. Hey, Millard, what's up? <clears throat> did did you just sell that diesel that diesel driver a gas ba- uh, a gasoline like commercial battery? Oh, he asked for a D battery. D D. Like I gave him a D ba- like a you know not like a D like a little one but like D. You no, know, he, he I got him when he asked for Willard. Did you even pass? automotive school of course i top of my class okay, i told then you, you should the have known you should have known that the battery he needed was this one and i point to one that's like this fucking big just huge no okay that's the outdated model they've compacted the energy into a smaller one that's the one i gave him here oh they have yeah oh didn't you uh, come on millard ah uh, god look i really appreciate what you're doing here yeah 
But you're making a fucking fool out of me, dude. Well, I'm sorry, Millard. Just, I'm not trying just, to do that. Look, just... this isn't common knowledge. I, 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 my read certification's coming up. I, okay. Yeah, but like... Well, uh, hey, they just... Once that come, comes around, then hey, maybe you'll be on my level. <laughs> it's just... The older I get, the more I realize the world is going... And I'm just not catching... Keeping up. That's that's pretty tough, man. Yeah, it's <sighs> not easy to keep up. Um, I'm just wondering, is this why Melissa left me? I mean, I left Melissa. You didn't hear that, huh? <sighs> uh, yeah, I guess I don't know, man. <sighs> she said I was outdated, and that, and I'm just grumbling on about my baggage. I start walking away. Yeah. Okay. God, that guy's fucking boring sometimes, man. Jesus, putting me to sleep with these stories about Jalissa or whatever the hell her name is. Bing bong. You see the same guy from before? Oh, uh, hey, he's back. Uh, how can I help you? You like the service so much the first time you just came back for another round? Another round? Yeah, or you just wanted to thank me for the help? The uh, battery you gave me doesn't fit in the slot for my truck. Well, it should. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> You want to take a look yeah, at it? Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's, let's go take, take a, a look, look at your truck. Maybe you're, we'll maybe something's wrong with your truck, man. I went to automotive school, young man. So did I. Hey, so you, did I. Hey, hey, I went back 30 years ago, which oh. means I have 30 years of extra experience. Well, see, but I... No, see, but I'm the customer, <laughs> and I am right. Yes... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes, absolutely. that's right. So yeah, let's yes, start. Let's sir. take a look at things. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Absolutely. That's right. Let's that's, go take that, a look and see right. if I can if I can correct my mistake. Correct your mistake. Well, clearly. Let's see what happens. Okay. We walk outside. <laughs> You just hear bing bong as we walk out because the door makes the same sound whether you're going in or out. <laughs> it's right over here. And I furrow my brow and I just look distastefully at my truck. That clearly has a battery much too small for its for its cavity. <laughs> oh. You really want to fool with me, boy? No, I see the issue here. Okay. I forgot. You forgot. There's, see, these are new issue batteries. And they, there's another part that you need that's sold separately that I didn't sell to you. Um, you Got have to get it. packing foam to fill up the rest of that cavity. <laughs> <laughs> Which we do sell so, in the store. So I can hook you, you up with some. You're saying that you went to automotive school. Yeah. Did you just get out of there last week? That's some basic knowledge. I knew that we, I was testing you, yeah. waiting for you. Okay. I apologize again. Uh, like I said, just trying to correct my mistake here. So, yeah, why don't we go Your back in? Your mistake? We'll you made a mistake? Yeah, that's because I forgot to mention and get you the packing phone you, before. So mistake, now we can. Mistakes like this could be dire, son. I, dire. I understand. I'm, I went to automotive school 30 <laughs> years ago. I have that education plus 30 years. Yeah, and I totally respect that. that if that's... I was a professor, I would have gotten tenure six times. You know, I'm sure you would have. Um, yes, I would. That, that's I a... would have been good. And I was good. I was good. <laughs> so don't you tell me. I'm not telling you, you anything. A mistake. I'm sorry. I, I'm... Say you fucked up. And you're never going to do it again. Uh, I, you know what? I, I fucked up. I'm not going to do it again. Sir. Sir, I'm just going to sell you. We're just going to go in, uh, sell you some of this foam to make sure you're all good to go and pack pack you into place. Good. Okay. Um, so we got the foam here. And also you didn't pay for the battery before. So you walk in and you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So your total comes to 127.69. Millard comes by. 69. Nice. 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 Uh, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Willard, can I have a moment with you? Uh, can I finish up here first? Uh, or you... a little 
important. Okay, okay I guess so. Um, sorry, sir. My boss, I guess, doesn't want me to help this you. Is so unprofessional. You know, I went to, and then we <laughs> cut off, and it's it's Willard and Miller. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Hey, um, so you 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 do realize that um that kind of foam, I mean, what? Why are you selling him that kind of foam to pack in the battery? <laughs> To pack in the battery, yeah, you do realize that that can melt, that can cause a spark. You're not supposed to put foam in the no, battery this is, cavity. This is flame retardant foam. Oh, that is specifically I, used for these new issue batteries. I I did read that somewhere on Facebook. I I heard you're, I heard it. Hey, you're going to be getting look, reinstated. I'm busy. I'm just. <sighs> Getting back in the dating world really sucks right now, and so I've been really focused on on trying to do that sort of stuff. Sure. So I, it's just, God, I'm really glad I have somebody clear. But don't you dare try to fuck with me, Willard. If you try to fuck with me and take my job, Willard, no, I, I wouldn't will dream fuck of it. You. Wouldn't dream of it. Uh, gentlemen, are you are you going to finish this transaction? I have to hit the road before I uh, I, I hit my overtime. <laughs> you know, I'm sure trying to. My boss is kind of cracking the whip to keep me back here, but I'm you know, trying back to help when you the out, go- Back when the government had these paper logs, you know, like I could do whatever I want, but th- these fucking electronic communist logs, you know, either the log in my hours or like the communist manifesto. I well, mean, like, it's just, I got to hit the road, man. I got, I don't, I got time for this. It's a good thing we won the war, right? <laughs> Uh yeah, uh, so about one hundred twenty-seven dollars sixty cents is your total. Do you take Fleet One? Yeah, sure. Good, good. Okay, and just swipe my card. All uh, right. Can you try that again? Sorry. Can I see the card? Yeah, let me hand it back. Well, it should be fine. I got I got money on that from my company yesterday. No, yeah, it's just sometimes our system is kind of goofy. Hmm. Like the dog. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Hmm. I Can I get a zip code? Back when I, uh, nine zero two one zero. Just takes a second. Huh, uh, it is declining it for some reason. Um, do you have another form of payment, maybe? Uh, I do, I do. Uh, and then I take out my T-check card. There you go. Thanks. <clears throat> this one should be fine, too. My company has both cards because uh, we're pretty we're pretty international, pretty big, pretty big company. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, okay, looks like that one went through, so. Yeah, yeah, it should have. You, you know, I should give more respect because I went to Automotive Academy just like you. I respect you so much, ago. sir. Yes, you should. Yes, yep. you should. Yep. You should have done it the first card. I shouldn't have had to pull out that second card. Hey, I, on, honestly, if I had it my way, I would have chucked the whole system out for declining your card and got a new one in here that worked for you. Yeah, but, that's right. That's what you should but do. I, I, I'm the customer. Hey, my boss is right, right there. He, he's I'm kind on. of the one you want to take that up with. You and know? then Millard is just crying in the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you need anything, just come by. Just come, just come by here, sir. That's my boss. Wow. Looks like he could have benefited from Automotive Academy. I think so too. You know, he looks like he went there, but uh, it just, you know, cruised. Didn't take it seriously like a man. Yeah. Hey, quick question for you before you leave. Yeah. Uh, you see my name tag here? It says Willard. Yes. Associate Willard. Yes. Um, do you think it'd look better or worse if it said uh, Assistant Regional Manager Willard? It would look better of course okay that's all i needed to know yeah now are you gonna help me install this or what yep yeah okay uh let's head on out uh, well we're not really supposed to install stuff uh, miller the customer I, yeah he's the customer i'm right i know what i'm doing here miller it's oh, okay 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 but don't fuck with me
Willard. I'd never dream of it. Good. All right. All right. Come on out. So, uh, if you want to pop the hood. Oh, nice. Pop it. It's right there. Oh, this is pretty easy. Um, okay. All right. So we set the foam down. Yes, I know how to do this part. And I set the foam down <laughs> just per- crookedly. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it might be a little easier. Do you want to straighten out, straighten it out a little bit? I I, it just that's how I know how to do it. That's how they taught me how to do it. They taught you that hippie, that hippie leftist uh, way. Okay. I guess they. Uh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay. This whole country's going to shit now. Yeah, it's a good whole thing we were on the war, right? Shit. Ugh. Um. Anyways, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so we'll kind of wrap the battery. Make sure it's nice and snug. There we go. Not moving around. And then do you have jumper cables? Of course I have jumper cables. Do you want to do you want to grab those for me? Yes. Thank you. And then I go to the back of my truck and I pull out the jumper <laughs> cables. I put them in. I attach them. Um, perfect. So <laughs> we hook these up to the battery just to get it connected to the car. Hook these up to the battery. Uh, and then we take, um, uh, this one goes to, um, the engine. Yes. So that it goes straight to yes. that. Um, so if there's a metal part on the engine right <laughs> yes. there. Okay. Uh, and then this one goes to... Um, the goes oh. to the live battery, and then I take both of them and I snap yeah. them onto the battery. <laughs> and there's a there spark, but it works. Yeah, but hey, there, there you go. Yes, it's all, I, all fixed up and ready to go. I went to automotive academy. I know how this works. Oh, you know, I didn't even do anything. You did it all yourself. I did because I'm the customer. So then, hey, yep, sport. Uh, yep. If if you work hard enough. You can accomplish some of the great stuff I've accomplished in my life. Hey, a little bit of luck helps, too. <laughs> hey, I don't believe in luck. Sure. I've worked so fucking hard for the things I've earned. Sure. Yeah, hey. 100%. It's pretty Before clear there's a nice trunk. truck. Take this. I think you've earned it. I go in my pocket, and I pull off a... Half off your next sandwich coupon. Oh, thanks. Hey. Appreciate it. The little things. Save that up. Might take you places. Save it. Might take you places. Oh, well, how do I save? Like, why wouldn't I just use it? Because it's a, just a coupon. It's not going to keep younger it. generation's all about using things and not, well, actually, not, trying... and not actually. Hey. You're right, sir. Yes. <laughs> See, you're I learning. Apologize. Yeah, you're, you're teaching learning. me a lot. You could be a professor. Oh, <laughs> and I would be good. I would be good. Yeah, professor. Uh, oh, what, what, what's your name? What would your students call you, professor? Skatchwan. Professor Skatchwan. Yeah. Nice name. Well, off. See me off. Yep. Yeah. See him. I, I think we truck. won the war, right? Up <laughs> in my truck. I'm Canadian. Oh. I wasn't in that war. Okay. Yep. That's what you get for assuming you little shit. And uh, I'm just rumbling in my car. <laughs> you need to start walking away. Peace. You just hear. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. And then. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest explosion next to the fuel. <laughs> Skatchwan, what the hell did you do? Skatchwan's dead. <laughs> He was in the truck that blew up. <laughs> and Millard comes by. Holy shit! What did you do, Willard? Well, I didn't do anything. He oh, pretty much did it all himself. He, he, I just watched him. <laughs> <laughs> watched him do what? You installed that, that hypothermic he battery that you said was good in the catalog. Me. It was good. He kept telling me he went to school and did 30 years of experience. And he knew what he was doing. He just wanted me to watch and learn, I guess. And I did. And and so it was all in his oh, hands. Hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, no. Boss hey, is hey, 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 Our gonna... responsibility ended when the purchase was finalized. After that, it's out of our hands. So this has nothing to do with us, Millard. This is nothing oh, to do with us. This is an act so, of God, if you a say total so. random. And then we hear, we hear a couple more explosions go down the line of pumps just... 
Oh, well, that sucks. Too bad the guy responsible is dead, huh? <sighs> Willie's gonna kill me, and then we no, get a you phone. Hear... Should and probably then... answer that. <sighs> Hello, and it's Willie. You son of a bitch! Oh, Willie, please, Millard. What the hell did you do? Oh, I, I did not. It, it was all the new guy. He, Whoa, he, he, hey, I told you. I, my he hands sold are a hypothermic battery with There's, an eight core. No, no, no. I looked at his resume. There's no way somebody like him could do something that crazy. That has had to have been user error or management error. So which is it, Millard? Well, it's, it's obviously user error because it? it's... it's, it's uh, That's why half of my store is leveled. Half my property is in, in flames right now. It's user error. Is oh, what you're telling me? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no? I, it, it's, no, I mean, I mean yes, it, it is. It's, What's it's, your story, Millard? What happened? It was all Willard's fault. He, mm. he called. He told the guy what he needed, and it wasn't the thing he needed. And he blew up his car, and now no, he's leveling. No, what the fuck? That's not what happened. I just want to keep my job. It's all Miller, get your shit together. I didn't hire you to cry. I hired you to get real when things are about <laughs> to die. Okay. Can you get real, Miller? I don't know. Get real! Do you want to keep your position? Yeah. Then you better quit the tears okay. right now. You get five, okay. four, three, two. Hi, Willie. How you doing? Yeah, this isn't a cheery moment, uh, Millard. Three, two. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. One more, one more screw up, and you're fucking fired. Okay, I got and the it. new guy's taking your position. I got it. Actually, no, you'd be demoted. Okay. No, no, don't. Oh, it. Those tears I hear, I think so. And then I pull the microphone away. <laughs> Let yeah, me I'm talk to Willard. Willard. Okay. Uh, hello there, Willie. Willard. You're a good kid. Well, thanks. Uh, you're a cool boss. I really appreciate working for you. You know, I'm pretty proud to work under the Willie Willy name. It's pretty, pretty historic there. It's pretty, um, it's just, you know, in, in honor, honestly. Like, it, it's very prestigious. Oh, oh, that's, oh, come on, come on. Um, well, hey, Millard is trying to blame everything on you. What? Yeah, he's trying to say that the leveling of the block is your fault, that you sold some faulty whatever... Uh, no, to my knowledge, uh, I had nothing to do with it, but, well, no, oh, I shouldn't say. Well, what is it? Well, Millard kind of had me do all of his responsibilities today. Before I could get to restocking the batteries, which was my priority, um... But he had me do all these other things, and then I, I couldn't get to the battery. So it could have been a... No, um no. uh, Millard, no, could you shut the fuck up, please? I'm on the phone with your boss. Uh, I, um... Yeah, so it, uh, it, it could have been a faulty equipment thing that I sold, but I tried, you know, that was my responsibilities, but Millard got in the way of it all, to be honest. Yeah, that sounds like Millard. All right, can I talk to Millard? Sure, of course, of course, sir. No! No, Willie, please! Millard. Why would you get in the way of Willard's responsibilities? I don't know, sir. It's just ever since Melissa and I, we broke up and he left me and, uh... I want you to look at Willard. Okay. Look him right in the eyes. Yes. Hey, man. Hi. And now say, Willard, what can I do for you? It's an honor to work under the assistant regional manager, Willard. What? Say that to him right now. 
Willard. Yeah, what's up? What can I do? What do you mean? It's an honor to work for the assistant regional manager, Willard. Oh, cool. <laughs> hey, that one guy said that that would look cool on my name tag, so... um. <laughs> You know what, Millard? First of all, Beep. yeah, get off your phone on company time. Second of all, can't believe you just hung up on the owner of the company. What does it matter now? Third of all, if you value your job at all, you better restock those batteries. You got it, Buzz. And see. <laughs> oh my god. What a pathetic loser. I started actually crying. Did you really? Yeah, yeah did you see me? I was like wiping off my oh, face because I was just actually crying so from funny. screaming. Um, oh my gosh. That fucking what Scatron guy. Scatron. Oh my god. Was when it you working were just for like, you? The customer's always, always right. right. Yes, sir. Sir. Oh Say my god. Sir. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you motherfucker. Because you can't argue with or, or reason with those kinds of people. No. Oh. I was really bringing out my customer service skills here. I unlocked my inner Karen. <laughs> you did very well. I had well. a lot of source material. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. That was a good, good story. Thank you very much. I do enjoy uh, telling some stories on this uh, sure. on this podcast. Oh, man. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was when I realized you didn't know what, in, what a Fleet One or a T-Check was. <laughs> you were just like, uh, it's not working. I was like, those do work. <laughs> That's okay. But I was like, oh, I guess... I'm gatekeeping right now. My <laughs> well, I didn't go to automotive mode. school at all, so I don't know what any of this shit is. That is, is true. You played the character very well. Uh, neither have I. Mm. I don't know if they... I, automotive school must exist. There's a trade. There's a trade. Trade yeah. school for automotive. <laughs> Not to be uh, an automotive cashier, but... No. Yeah. Um, yeah, my favorite part uh, of the episode was when... It was very apparent that Sketch One was gonna blow up, <laughs> and then I made him blow up, and then he just destroyed the entire store. Yep. Oh man, there was a part. Um, there, there was a, a like. I, I think my favorite part was when you really fucking doubled down on that Karen shit, and <laughs> we're like. I was sir. so I was breaking, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, a, sir. I and like I, that. I was literally about to correct you and say yes, sir, and you said yes, sir. <laughs> and I was like, see, he's got it. And I was like, yeah. And you're, you're like, you see, you're you're learning. You're and I was learning. like, oh, you're such a prick. You're <laughs> but such you've a heard that before. Asshole. You've heard people say that shit before. <laughs> yeah, I've heard people say that shit before, and, I was and like, I'm just like, you're, fuck oh, you. It was so fuck perfectly. You. Played. I was like, you're such a <laughs> fucking asshole. Oh, and it was perfect. Oh, man. Man, it's so fun to just tap into characters like that because yeah. we have experience with those people. That yeah, that one wedding I told you about where the guy yelled at me for playing the kids' dance too long. Yeah. Was, I was like explaining that it's the kids' dance and that's why we're playing Baby Shark. And he goes, Don't talk back to me. I'm talking right now. Don't cut me off. And I was like, And then it was came to the anniversary dance and he and his wife were the oldest, longest married couple. Oh, no. And I went, Skip. <laughs> I skipped it. I was like, I'm not talking to you. I'm not interacting at all. <laughs> nice. Dude, that was it was great because other people were all like, "Hey, like, how long were they married?" And I said, "I don't know." And I absolutely knew they were married for 62 that years. That is so <laughs> Yeah, so wild. if you're out there, you're probably dead by the time you <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> That's bad. I shouldn't say that, but uh, Moral of the story is don't be an asshole. Don't be mean. And if and you, you are mean, if you are mean, you'll blow up in your truck. You blow up in your truck. Sorry. Sucks. I don't make the rules. Yeah. That's what happens, fucker. 20 years from now, someone's going to pull this up. Be like, hey, you said he'd be dead by now. And I'd be like, I mean, he probably is. (laughs) (laughs) What was it that I said when you laughed really hard? 
Uh, Did I sass you with something, or I said something that I'm you... trying to remember what you said. I I don't know. Well, I'm editing the show. Yeah, you'll you have to, you have to text it to me. I don't remember. I remember busting out a couple times. Yeah, that's the fun thing about telling these stories is that like it's it's cool, it's live, and so I don't have time to think too much about what. Yeah, happened. you just you gotta keep thinking, keep them, keep it moving, just let, keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah. Um. No, I was cracking up probably when you said yes, sir. Because <laughs> I yes, was just flabbergasted sir. that you, that you, that was my next line that I was gonna say was yes sir and you you already said it mm-hmm. yeah that's probably no I, uh, I I worked my navigation skills to that was great fucking tiptoe through a minefield I've had mm-hmm. to do it before and mm-hmm. I've successfully my very first shift at my very first job I was a cashier at a, a kind of hardware store. Um, and I was, it was my very first shift. I was pretty nervous. I was a nervous teenager. I was like, ah, you know, whatever. Um, and a guy comes up and, you know, we, we started off like, oh, how are you today? And he's like, pretty shitty, actually. <laughs> oh, and you're all like, oh, and, okay. Well, my, I, and I know I, I shouldn't have asked this, but my instinctive reaction to anybody saying that uh, was oh, saying, happened? oh, why is that? Why is that? And then he's like, it's actually none of your business. And I was like, okay. Why fucking bring it up then? If you're yeah. having a shitty day and you don't want to talk about it, then just be a normal person and say, oh, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I've had the shittiest days. And if a cashier asks me, how's your day going? I'm like, it's all right. How about yourself? Going okay. Yeah, just yeah, lie yeah. like a normal fucking person. Yeah, don't be an just... asshole to a teenager. Well, at least in the U.S., when people say, how's it going, that's not, how are you actually doing? Yeah. You say good. That's a that's a way of saying hello. Yeah, you say it, good. Going? I say, you say, it's going. There you are say, times, there are times where people say, how's it going? That's that's how they say hello. That, yeah. Yeah, that's the end of the exchange. Like, hello, How's it going? Oh, how's hey. it going? Yeah. Cool. That's it. That's it. That's the exchange. That's what I want. I, I don't like having prolonged conversations sometimes. Like, I I've, I don't know if it's the pandemic or what it is, but I have gotten less and less patient with small talk, especially with strangers. Yeah. I was in line at Best Buy a couple weeks ago. I don't know if I told you this, but um, there was this uh, – I was waiting in line, and there were, like, two cashiers. And there, I don't know, like five people in front of me, mm-hmm. and this old guy's right behind me. I don't know, probably like seventy, not crotch, not not like yeah, not with a cane, but he's like definitely older. And and he was like, "Hey," he said, "Hey, how's it going?" He goes, Pretty long line we have here. <laughs> and I went, "Yeah," <laughs> and then I had my ear, I had my earbuds in. So that's my sign. Don't talk to me. Yeah. He saw I had the earbuds in, or maybe he didn't. Maybe I don't know. But then he goes, "Shame nobody wants to work anymore." Oh my fucking god! <laughs> and I went, "Shame nobody uh, wants to pay their employees fairly." Yeah, enough. exactly. Well, like, like I, oh I'm not gonna have god. a political debate when there's five people in front of me. I didn't want to talk to anybody in je- like <laughs> oh at all, god. anyways. And I just went, uh, and he goes. So, you a student? Oh my fuck! Do you work? I went, he was trying to pick you up. I don't know. Well, he was probably <laughs> just just bored and he wanted was. to have a conversation. He was just bored and, yeah. and yeah, I was just I don't know. Like I try not to be rude, so I was like, "Oh, I'm a student, whatever." You know, he goes, "Hmm, what you got there?" And I went, "Memory card." I was, "Oh, yeah, I worked uh, worked a seventy hour shift this week." Blah 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 blah. Cool. And I was like, hmm, okay. crazy. Well, I used to work in a truck stop. I used to have conversations. I've heard many a story. Yeah. I love, truckers are some of the most valuable people in the job force, like, as as a trade, in my right. opinion. And that, that no, might be biased. Fair. But they are one They're of the most critical parts of the, sh- of the, the shipping line that we right. have. They're right. super important. So I get the, I get the struggle. I didn't want to have a conversation. So yeah. I just went, eh. And then... Uh, I'm so happy. I got lucky because the guy right behind him had a uh, a blue parrot headset, which is like 
what truckers use. They're like a headphone and then they have a microphone. So he's talking and he heard the trucking talk. So then he starts talking to the old guy and I left the line. I didn't want to have that conversation so badly. I left the line, browsed around the TV section and then came back after he was a couple people ahead of me. So I didn't have to talk to him. That's fair. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, and yeah like, I don't like having conversations like that. How did we get on this conversation? How did we get on this topic? What were we talking about before? Ta- customers and like, yeah, customer service and the talking Cust- of like, how's it going? Oh yeah, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. It's, he had a fine day, but I didn't want to talk to him. No, it's and 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 there's social cues as to whether people want to chat or not. I've I've seen yeah. it before, and some people just don't pick up on those, you know, and yeah. Um, yeah, it's it, sometimes if I vibe with somebody like a cashier or something like the barista is a caribou kick ass. They yeah. always are kind of chatting while I'm waiting mm-hmm. for my coffee and they're always really cool. They'll be like, I try to be friendly and chime in when I think I can contribute mm-hmm. something, but I'm not going to throw myself in that conversation. No, usually when I go get coffee, though, they're just like, how was your weekend or what do you got going on today? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I hate that. I really oh. do. I'm The cabin. There's a caribou cabin. Yeah, they do like, that there. Yeah, they do they that do there. They do it at the one by the old Gordman's, too, do sometimes they? with do me, they? but... Yeah, I don't know. It, I, I'm just like, well, it's nice because I'm like, oh, they're hitting on me for sure. That's what that means. So you now think I'm so? getting flirted on. Oh, I'm, I'm, flirting I, yeah. with. I'm happy for you. I'm happy Guys, for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Gender don't matter. Don't matter. If they ask uh, <laughs> how my day is, they want more from me, either romantically, sexually or both is or both what I'm assuming. And I think it's yeah. safe to assume that. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's you don't fair really assumption. ask someone what they're doing that day if you don't want to see them naked well <laughs> <laughs> in that case everybody at the caribou coffee loves me too yeah they, they they're just trying to fuck dude, everybody the caribou coffee is like the horniest place i've ever been to man. hell yeah it's caribou okay, more go. like cara boo Boo, B O O, because you're my boo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that works. Because <laughs> you're my boo. <laughs> um, I've just never been fond of it. I don't think it's phony. Like, yeah, people are nice and people want to know, but like, I don't know. If I said, like, oh, yeah, I'm going like skiing and all these fun things, I'd just be sad. I'd be like, oh, they're having a bunch of fun without me. I'd oh. be sad if I was in their shoes. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to an arcade and I'm going to have so much fun with my friends and. Oh, it sucks that you're working. I guess a lot of times when I, I have the conversations with them, it'll, it'll be kind of like, you know, like, um, oh, you know, what are you? And then I don't know what we'll kind of riff. Like, it's like, oh, just going to visit some family. And they'll just be like, oh, yeah, you know, I was mm. just at my out of town at my family's last weekend. It was kind of crazy. And I'm like, oh, that's, uh, and that's kind of. And so it's a little less like that's fair i'm having a good time and you're working mm-hmm. but i've done that before when i worked at the fucking well i still do working at the movie theater uh uh-huh. um do you know how many times on holidays i've heard people say like oh that sucks you guys got to work here huh like right, oh you're stuck yeah, here all day and yeah. i'm like yeah you're why i'm stuck here you understand i've seen, that, I've seen right? several tiktoks like, talking about that i'm like man that's a universal experience yeah, like, do you understand that you are the the customer is the reason that i'm fucking working right now yeah when i would work in at, at a restaurant and they'd be like man you're really serving on the fourth of july and it's like yeah you came in didn't yeah you? you came in you wanted steak what Dad not know how to fucking cook? It's the 4th of July. Like, like cook something, fourth, right? 4th of fun. July is my favorite holiday to work on in the food, in, in the why fast is, food Why industry. is that? Because nobody shows up? nobody gets fast food on the 4th. That is true. People are barbecuing. When I work... When you work at a steakhouse... If, that's if, different. Yeah, it's different. But when I, when I worked at... Fourth. When I worked at fast food... Man, that was the best fucking day ever because there was like 10 customers all day and we just, but we were fully staffed. Mm -hmm. So like we, and one person can help a customer. So we rotated and it was just the best. I think we've already covered this on the podcast. I think we About, no, 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 no. But like we've covered the busiest day. I don't know if I've ever told you the, the, the slowest day in my experience in the restaurant. 
The slowest day, because the busiest day is Mother's Day. Everybody knows yeah. that. Valentine's Day is not far behind it. But um, the slowest day, unless you work at Buffalo Wild Wings or a wing place, Super Bowl. Super Bowl is the most dead I've ever been in a restaurant ever. No. Nobody's getting pasta. Nobody's going to Roadhouse because Roadhouse has a couple TVs in the bar and that's it. Yeah. You're going to a sports bar, like a wing place, or you're ordering in. Yep. So those are my favorite days to work because that's when you Hell got out yeah. early. Uh, yeah. But like nice. also I would just prefer to not work because nobody's going to restaurants. Super Bowl is like I've I've never been crazy about football and stuff, but like it's always kind of fun. I enjoy watching the Super Bowl. I fuck with the Super Bowl mostly, mostly because of the food. The food because people go all out for the food, and it's, it's like fuck yeah. It's the food. It's the it's the fraternity. the vibe. The vibe. It's the, yeah, you're hanging out. Even if you don't like sports, you're hanging out with your family, your friends, whatever. Live. It's like Second Thanksgiving, right? It's Second Thanksgiving. It is. It is. Yeah, L- live sports are. Like, watching on TV, I'm not always crazy about, but, Mm. like, being there, way more fun. I've been to a few NFL games, and I've never really cared about football until I went to NFL games, and, Mm -hmm. and like, Mm -hmm. it's just a fucking vibe, you know? Like... Live sports are always way more fun, in my opinion. Yeah, because you just feel the energy radiating off of everybody there, and you just get swept up in it all, and it's just a good fucking time. So, if you're out there, and you're kind of a grumpy Grinch about sports... Go to a game. <laughs> there are some prudes, though, who hate us. Uh, like, there are some baseball purists. Who hate us? Us, the casuals. Oh, there's, there's some base- yeah. Baseball, for example. There are some purists who are like, I am sick and tired of people going to a baseball game and making it a social event. Like, go and talk at home. Don't. But it's like, bro... It's a baseball game. You're hanging out. Yeah, you're watching the game. You're eating a hot dog. You're getting a c- expensive beer, and you're hanging out with friends. Yeah. That's also, a game a base- to me. That's it's- a baseball game to me. I'm not going to watch, you know. Yeah, it's a baseball game. 70% of it is not exciting. So yeah, like- 70% of it is waiting for them to actually fucking hit the ball. Yeah. Because so- in professional baseball, it's like, oh, ball, ball, <laughs> foul, yeah. foul, Oh, foul. foul. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I'm just not a fan. Uh, no. Well, I, I'm a huge fan of baseball. I, 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 Not of the sport. I love going to baseball games. Those, those are cool. fun. But uh, purists of anything suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Just don't, don't be a dick, bro. Yeah. Don't be a Don't, just be, a don't be a little dickling. Don't be a little. Don't be a bitchly little dickling. A little, little quickie dicky. Yeah. That makes you, uh, well, ass. This sour is growing on me. It is I on hope, me, I, too. I, I hope uh, it's growing on you, too. Hey, oh. Like I, I said, drink beer, drink sours until it starts tasting good. Mm-hmm. And then they, they hook in. There's some quality. We're, I was convincing Michael before the podcast that he has to start exploring. Since he's gonna be a, Since he's going to be a dad. Get into really like craft beers because he's like a hardcore alcoholic. Mm-hmm. So just trying to make sure that you know he has the dad vibes when he's barbecuing. He has a little drinky poo and he knows what's good and what's poo. not. Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, I was gonna alcoholic. tell you on my <laughs> no, I'm not even just close. clarifying. He, he doesn't um, drink. Not much. No. Um, I I changed settings on my editing laptop that i bought oh what would you do so when i plug in a usb yeah it makes the lightsaber ignition sound <laughs> oh are I you serious unplug it it it's the uh, <laughs> how'd you do that dude I'm you just so... you can just go into sound settings and change all the sounds i am so bad at uh so tech stuff once you figure it out it's super super that's, easy that's well that's how it is with anything mm-hmm. i guess i um i have a couple cool like graphic design things that i've picked yeah. up on and now i feel like a pro when I feel like an idiot, because I actually don't. But once you pick up on stuff, you once start you, doing when, it. Honestly, once you know where to go, it's yep. so how easy. things work. Yep. And like, um, and so now, if once it has a low battery, mm-hmm. um, it's King Theoden, who you don't know who that is yet, Not but yet. he's going charge when I need to charge my battery. Yeah. And then, uh, is that you know, Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Okay. And then when you click. 
You know, if you have like a pop up and it's like, oh, do you want to save? And you try and click outside of it and it makes that like, broom, oh, yeah. broom, broom. Um, I took a snippet from Jake and Amir. So now it goes ass, <laughs> ass, <laughs> ass. You got to show me <laughs> after this recording. You I'll have show to show you. me that. That's really <laughs> fucking funny. Um, I was just giggling well, about it while Ashley was on the couch. You know what I've always wanted? Speaking of like silly like sound edits, mm. I've always wanted those GPS sounds that people are always posting about of like Gordon Ramsay giving you Google yeah. Maps directions. Like you fucking missed it, you down on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a bad Gordon, but uh, I just love that sort of stuff. Just customizing things or like Tesla, you can customize your horn. Oh, when yeah, you honk your that's horn, right. You have people who like have bruh. Bro, <laughs> that is <laughs> Which really is funny. way funnier That's way than a better. honk. <laughs> oh my god! Because you're driving bruh. like such an idiot. Someone's like, bro, bro, bro. It's so funny. I've always wanted that because a honk is so like rude. Yeah, you can't honk nicely. People are always mad. But if you had like, come on, man. Like if you honked your horn, it went like. Come on, dude. Mine would be like, move, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> Every time. That'd be good. That'd be good. I think this might be the episode. I, I think it might be it. the episode. This is the wraps of the episode. So without further ado, thank you very much, everybody, for listening. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We do podcasts every single week, with That's the right. exception of, you know, holidays like Thanksgiving. We're enjoying time Sometimes with our we'll fam. take some time off, yeah. But, you know, just about every single week you're going to see a video from us. And if not, that It weird. wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. So thank you very much, everybody, for listening. And follow us on Spotify, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio. Uh, iTunes, anything else? All the things. Cool and cool. All the things. All share. The sound things. Things, things. Listen to, to our podcast. podcast. Nice. We love you. Thanks for listening. And goodbye. Kisses.